From the 25th to the 28th of May, the Shell Eco Marathon will be held at the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park in East London. Over 170 university teams will compete on a racetrack that runs around the outside of the velodrome, where Sir Chris Hoy and Laura Trott won gold back in 2012. But instead of going as fast as possible, the teams are competing to be the most fuel efficient. There are seven fuels to choose from, including petrol, diesel, electricity and hydrogen, and teams can enter in either the urban concept category, where vehicles look similar to normal cars, or enter a ground-hugging prototype designed to achieve the ultimate efficiency. The overall winners are expected to achieve an efficiency rating of over 10,000 miles per gallon as they sip fuel around the circuit. The Shell Eco Marathon is a student engineering program for efficiency that's been going on since 1985. And as such, we have been throwing out a challenge to the future engineers and scientists of the world to come up with the most energy efficient vehicle in the world. I think over time, the um, competition has evolved from wooden cars that were mere soapboxes into high-tech machines of carbon fiber, of ceramic engines, of electric mobility, and as of late, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Driver skill takes a very, very important place in the overall success of a team. Teams can build the best and most efficient vehicle possible. If the driver cannot put it on the road, then it is all worth nothing. It is, after all, still a competition with a strong human influence, like driving on the road. Uh, this is our fourth year entering, um, and uh, the first year it started out of a living room of one of the UCL students. Uh, we've obviously come uh, quite a far away from there. Um, the, the main bit is trying to like improve on the areas where we have the most to gain from each year. So last year we created this carbon fiber monocoque, as you can see there. Uh, so this year we focused on the drivetrain, trying to uh, increase the efficiency of that, uh, changing from a hub motor to a belt drive and hybridizing the system with supercapacitors so we can get the, the power we need when we need it, basically. It's, uh, no, it's a really fun project. Uh, we're eight people who've been putting everything we have into it this year. Uh, and uh, yeah, you learn an incredible amount and it's really good fun to have a competition to, to test yourself against other teams at the end of it. It's quite tight and um, you drive it laying down on your back. So that is a uh, quite a new way of driving. Uh, it's quite a way to get used to, but uh, it's good fun. It's very good fun and uh, when you're out on the track, Obviously being so close to the floor to make it more aerodynamic, you do feel like you're going a lot, lot quicker. So that is quite good fun, but it is quite, it can be quite cramped. This is our practical opportunity. Um, being full-time students, like you don't get the, you know, you're not in employment. It's really good to put skills into practice and build an actual car that runs. It's, it's fantastic. It's an opportunity you don't get every day. But uh, yeah, no, definitely engineering careers. Uh, definitely something I want to go into and uh, working on telemetry, working with sensors and learning about how they go on cars and how sensors can affect cars. So it's definitely something that I'd love to explore into the future.